So I know you made some comments over the summer about this being a, a make or break year. Can you maybe elaborate on, on why you think that and where you guys are in the build in your mind? Yeah, uh, I mean, when I came in uh, three years ago, I think it was in a system to be like uh, pretty much contender at this point. And uh, I had that in my vision as well, and I believe in, in it uh, too. And uh, last year we have a little step sideways, and then now we have to get back on the right track again and take the, uh, the next level as well. Blakey and Jimmy used this phrase, getting uncomfortable over the summer. What in, in your mind does that mean for this team to get uncomfortable on the ice? Uh, I think it's, uh, I said it the other day, to just have maybe second personality on the ice, you know, get more mean and play together uh, a little harder as well. And yet, you know, it's got to hurt to win some games and uh, you got to do it every night. It's 82 games, it's a long season, but you got to find a way to do it every single night. And uh, I know we can, it's all mental it's a big part mental but uh physically as well but like uh the the big mental part is huge in that game and uh, we have to be better on this so you and trev out there with tanner obviously a very different line mate than you guys have had in the past couple of seasons so what do you think he brings to your line and to the attack in general i think he's in really good shape and he's hungry and uh he wants to uh step up this year i'm sure and uh, he's been showing awesome a great dude as well and he's bringing like you said, different stuff in the game, but uh, more heavy and bring us a little more space. So, um, different, different, different look, but it's good. How weird is it not to have the guy that you've had over the last couple of years in RV and to have a very different type of player, you know, as as your winger with you and Trev? Yeah, it's weird. Plus, it's not a righty, so it's uh, definitely an adjustment. But like I said, he's hungry, and we're just gonna work as hard as we can and uh, play our game. You know, it's not gonna change. Everyone's fitting around when. Once you work, everyone shine, and it's the same thing for everyone. So, uh, yeah, not changing my game at all. Tanner seems to be one of a few guys added who play that way. There's also Edmondson. There's Warren Fogel. Is that mentality that those guys bring something that you feel this team maybe needed? Yeah, a little more heavy for sure. Uh, last two years, we should have been a little heavier. Uh, here they are. Those two guys are playing heavy in the, the right way as well. So, uh, different look, but. Uh, yeah, it's just a new coach, new everything, system-wise too, so a lot of new things to adjust this, this year. I know it's only day one, but have you noticed that heavy, heavier approach already? Even in, uh, in the, the, have you, have you, does it feel that way? I know Joel had like a big hit, you know, in the, in the yeah. scrimmage whatsoever. Is that noticeable right away, or does that kind of have to play itself out? The heaviest hit I've seen is Q. Yeah. <laughs> That's scrimmage. So, yeah, I mean, so I think it's Jimmy's mentality and DJ. They want to play heavier. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy into this. No, it was maybe the goal last year to have that three headed monster down the middle, but now you have Quinton in that spot. How exciting is it with you, yeah. Kobe, and Q at the center ice position? Yeah, more dynamic. Uh, he wants to perform there too. He wants to play there. So, yeah, it's good. Uh, just got to work on face off and little details. and. Uh, I think as long as they have the puck, they're good. Him and Kevin and whoever's on the right, uh, it's going to fit well. You mentioned Q. You have a couple big hits up there, so he dumped Mikey. And, uh, you know, how, how much uh, – Todd used the phrase, you know, giving himself permission to be great, giving himself permission to dominate. How much do you see him kind of maybe moving toward his potential and, and what he can really be as a player? Q? Yeah. Like that. Uh, I see him getting better for sure. Uh, we could see it last year already. I think uh, he worked really hard both ways at the ice too, and he was doing a lot on the uh, the other line. And uh, yeah, his, once he play heavy, he gets more space for himself, for his teammates, and uh, he allows them to score goals. So uh, I see a lot, lots of potential in Q. That's we, for sure. We saw glimpses of Akil and Turk. Well, Turk coupled you, but particularly last year, both those guys. Now they look like they may be full-time players for you. How have you seen them kind of evolve and? and become part of the group. Yeah, they've been good. I mean, it's only day one of the camp, but uh, I'm sure they'll get a more chance during preseason. But uh, Killer came last year. He was doing well, too. Turk as well, uh, scores for his goal in Nashville. So yeah, I think they have some skill, and they have a lot, uh, lot to show up. And um, I'm sure they're going to get their, their shot at one point.